and five. There, so you can either cut these guys out or you can use your own, okay? Now we're gonna use these to make some fact families. So when we do fact families, we have two addition sentences and we have two subtraction sentences, but all those sentences use the exact same three numbers. Okay, so let me show you. You can do this with me. Maybe spread your, your cards out on the floor or on a table. And I want you to do this with me while you're watching the video. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is find a plus sign and find an equal sign. And you're going to set them out on your floor or your table like we're writing a number sentence. But there's no numbers in it yet. Just like that. So something plus something equals Something. That's how we set up a fact family. Find your other plus sign and one more equal sign and you're going to lay them out underneath. So like we're making another number sentence. We just haven't put the numbers in there yet. We'll get there. Okay. Something plus something equals something. Now fact families have two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. So now let's use our subtraction. So we're going to find one subtraction sign. Careful, they can look like ones, but they're sideways. And we're going to put it on our floor or our table. We're going to say something minus something else. And then we need an equal sign. It can look like an 11 too. See that? <laughs> but make sure it's going sideways. Like that. All right. Something minus something equals Something. And let's do it one more time. And then we have our four fact family sentences. Fact families are kind of neat. They have four number sentences, all from the same three numbers. So four number sentences one, two, three, four, two that are adding, two that are subtracting, all from the same three numbers. So now look through your numbers that you wrote down or cut out and drop one on the floor. Get that here. See if you can find the one, the two, and the three. Those are the ones we're going to use first. Okay, so one, two, and three, we're going to use these same numbers in every single fact family number sentence, and they will work, I promise you. All we do is switch the order of them. We don't use them twice. We don't bring in other numbers, we use the same numbers, we just switch the order. So let's look at the first addition sentence. I need some more sticky stuff. Okay. When we're talking about addition, where's the biggest number go? What do you think? It goes at the end, right? When we add stuff together, we make a big number at the end. So the biggest number out of one, two, and three, is our three. So let's stick our three at the end. Ta-da! Now, where are these guys gonna go? Here's a hint. It doesn't matter. Could I do two plus one equals three? Uh, maybe. Let's try. Let's see. Two plus one equals three. Let's try it out. Find your two, find your one, stick them in there, and equals three. Well, I don't know if this works. Let's figure this out. Two, okay, I got two fingers. Plus one more finger. Does that give me three? It does. This works. Two plus one equals three. First fact family number sentence, okay? Let's pop those off. I'm just gonna move them up here. Now, I'm gonna write down with my whiteboard. We did two plus one equals three. Now let's think of another one that we could make, okay? Well, we know if it's an addition sentence, the answer has to be the biggest number. So I'm gonna put my three there right away. Okay, now I only have a two and a one left to use. I already did two plus one. Could I switch spots? Could I go one plus two? Yes, yes I can. So let's look. One plus two equals three. Does that work? I don't know. Let's try. One plus two. Is that going to give me three? One, two, three. 
It works. There's our second number sentence for our fact family. So I'm going to write it down and move these guys. So one plus two equals three. So look, we're using the same numbers each time, but we're just shifting the order around. Wow, subtraction. We're going to use the same three numbers every time. Something different though. With addition, the biggest number came at the end. Do you know where the biggest number goes for subtraction sentences? Not at the end. We always start with the big group and take away some. So we're gonna start with our big number. We're gonna put it at the front. Now where do these guys go? It doesn't matter. They can switch swap. They can flip their spots. So let's use the one we got here. Three minus one equals, well, we got a two left. Let's stick the two there. Let's see if it works. This time, I'm gonna draw a quick picture. Three, one, two, three, minus one. Well, let's take one away. Does it equal two? Yes, it does. If I take this guy away, I have one, two left. So this fact family works too. Three minus one equals two. Let me write that guy down and we'll stick these guys back up here. Well, we're down to our last fact family. Three minus one equals two. Okay, when we do subtraction, where does the biggest number go? Not at the end, that's addition. It goes at the start. Subtraction starts with the biggest number. Subtraction starts with the biggest number. Addition ends with the biggest number. Addition ends, subtraction starts. So three, now last time we did three minus one. I don't wanna do that again. I wanna change it. So I'm gonna go three minus, not one, two. So let's pop that guy in there. Three minus two, all I got left is one. Let's check it out. Three minus two equals one. Let's try. Three minus two equals how many? I got a one. Three minus two equals one. There's our four fact family number sentences for these three numbers. We got three, we got two, and we got one. Sometimes you'll see them. I know I shouldn't be using my hands on my whiteboard. I don't know what my hands are. Sometimes you'll see them like that, kind of like a triangle or a house. And then we have all our fact family number sentences. I could even turn this into a house. Look, ta-da, there's my house. Okay, so we're always using the same three numbers. And we have two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. Now, you try using nine, four, and five and see how you can put those in there, two addition and two subtraction to get the right answer.